Today's day five of Ticking the Rainbow Back campaign. And it appears that the LGBTQIA plus community just doesn't believe the word of God. They just don't believe what we have to say. So let me share this video with somebody who was from that community. You know what the queers and the people get upset about the pronouns? But when I say I'm an ex-gay transformed by Jesus, you stay calling me on my name. For you guys to say there's a spectrum of sexuality and pronouns and all the things and to be quote unquote inclusive, when I say that I identify as Jesus, we have a problem. So you know what it's giving? It's giving not inclusive. It's giving the bullied becoming the bully. It's these same people that begin to persecute these people and then want to get them fired out of their jobs. But we don't do that to the Muslims. We don't do that to the Muslims. But the Christians. But Jesus. That's okay though. Because Jesus said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. You want to know what my new pronouns are? Redeemed, justified, sanctified. For the Lord said, I am the Lord your God. There is none like me. What can mere mortals do to you? You know what I did? I believed him. <laughs> you know, you can keep calling me out my name. I'm unoffendable with Christ. Because I know who I am. I'm a son. I'm a child of God. I'm loyalty. An heir. I have a great high priest. You're not really popping unless you have haters. So, dear haters, I hope you've been enjoying season one. I can't wait for you to see season two. Spoiler alert, Jesus wins. So there you have it. A great testimony. A testimony of showing that nothing is too impossible for God. So I can't wait for this gentleman season two. I'm excited to see how God is going to fully transform him and others that only he will be able to minister, only others that he will be able to evangelize to and reach because of his experience. I hope this blessed you today. May God bless you. May God bless you all.